In this video, I'll be talking about how to attribute open educational resources when you incorporate them into your own works. When you create an open educational resource and put it under a Creative Commons license, you may have a mixture of content that you created and other people's content that you incorporated into yours. That other content is often other open educational resources. When you do that, those pieces of other works are still under their own original licenses, while your work is under the license that you put it under. You have to make it clear which parts are yours and which parts belong to others, and you have to attribute those others. As I said in another video, attributing is parallel to citing, but it is not the same. You cite to avoid plagiarism. You attribute to avoid violating the Creative Commons license. You cite whenever you need to show people the path back to the source of a fact or idea. It's about the growth of knowledge. You attribute whenever you need to mark property that doesn't belong to you and show who it does belong to. It's about economics and legalities. When you find an open educational resource that is a revision or a derivative work of another OER created by somebody else, then when you attribute it, it needs to acknowledge both. Now let's talk about the nitty-gritty details of how to attribute. Attribution is a requirement of almost every Creative Commons license. If you don't do it, you void the license. And you have to do it right. The most important thing is to have all the correct information. The next most important thing is to provide that information where your user will expect to find it. And the least important thing is how it's formatted. You can find examples and explanations of proper attribution by googling Best Practices for Attribution Creative Commons. If you are just using a piece of Creative Commons content without changing it, this is the simplest form of attribution. Say you've found a Creative Commons work that you are going to put in your OER. You will need to attribute it right there. For our simple attribution of a Creative Commons work, all we have to do is provide the title of the work with a link to the original work by the author with an optional link to the author's page, is licensed under CC BY 2.0 with a link to the human re readable version of that license. Remember, you are able to get all of that information from the Creative Commons widget that the creator should have provided. Sometimes they haven't provided it though, so you'll have to do a little bit of digging. But this just goes to show how important it is to use the Creative Commons license chooser so that your users aren't confused and frustrated. Sometimes you'll see a half-hearted attribution that just says something like photo, Creative Commons, but that doesn't actually count as attribution. Don't do that. Say you revised or remixed the Creative Commons work that you found and put it into your OER. You didn't change it enough to make a different work, but you did change it some. In that case, you attribute it just the same as before. Title, with a link to the source. By author, with a link to the author page used under CC BY with a link to the license wording. Then you put a slash and you say what you did to change it. Now say you've created a new work based on an existing Creative Commons work. That means you have a derivative work. Before, you were attributing a piece of content embedded within your content. Now you are acknowledging that your whole content is based on somebody else's content. So you say, this work, title, is a derivative of original title with a link back by original creator with a link used under license of the original work with a link to that license. Title is licensed under whatever license you choose with a link to it by your name. That way it is very clear that your work is your work, but also how to find the other work that yours was based on. It is also clear that you used that other work under the terms of its license. Finally, it's important to put your attribution where it will make sense to the user. Mark the content that is not yours, either on that content or right under it. Then, if it wasn't clear enough, put a separate attributions page at the end. If it's a video, you can have an attribution screen at the end. If it's audio, you can read it out at the end. You can also put this information in the video or audio description and in the caption of an image. You should also be marking your own content as Creative Commons as prominently as possible. If it's a web page, put your widget code that generates the logo in the footer. In a document, put the information on the title page or its verso. If it's an image, put it in the caption. For a video or audio resource, 
Put the information at the end and also on the information page.